Hi folk, what I thought I'd have a play with today is this new online video editor and see whether it can actually do anything particularly useful and it has potential given that some of the features um, Google has removed from YouTube in terms of video ed editing so if you're on a Chromebook and all you've got is a browser um, it might be useful because there are some alternatives to this sort of thing like uh, Wii Video but the quality that they produce unless you pay them lots of money is um, pretty poor which makes the free offering pretty much um, unusable so this is Napwing and what we need to do is choose one of these options now one of the things it doesn't do although it says more to come is allow you to sort of add videos together but you can trim, resize, add filters and to be fair, most of these things you can actually still do in YouTube, although you can't add subtitles. So let's have a go at adding subtitles to a video. Now we need a video to upload, so I've just been recording this using OBS Studio, um, which is an awesome piece of software, but you need a desktop computer or a laptop that's running something like Linux or uh, Windows to use it. So I'm just going to stop recording, start recording again. So we've now got the video that I've just made there and what we're going to do is upload that and see whether we can do something with it. Now one thing to note is that Napwing only supports certain video file formats so um, just be a bit careful MP4 it supports um, so that you're safe with that. So let's go and upload a file and um, let's upload the one that I've just done which is that one and see whether we can do anything useful with it Um, loads reasonably quickly even on my shoddy internet connection at school I imagine this would be pretty much instant Hi folk, what I thought I'd have a play with today is this new online video editor okay so we can um, pan through the video we can skip five seconds, go back five seconds we can replay the video, we can pause the video and we have a control underneath that allows to set the time play with the today particular is caption is going to and see whether appear and at the moment it says my first subtitle click to edit it. what I thought I'd have a so play with today let's type in this, new online video this is fun I'll put fun. that on for the, I don't know Oh, well, let's have the first. Play with today is this new online. Four video seconds. Editor. I can't use the arrow that. keys to do no, anything to do fine. It. That's a shame. You can choose the font. Uh, let's have something weird. Don't know what that looks like. Let's have a slightly bigger font. Let's have something less boring than white. Let's go, I don't know. Let's go red. Uh, let's have it. Oh, you can only put it at the top and the bottom. Turn on highlighting. Hmm. Okay, so we go back here. We can see what that looks like. Turn off. Turn on. Highlights it on here. I'm not quite sure what that actually does. Um, so you can have a range of colours, fonts. There you go and then you can add another subtitle and it automatically starts at the end of the previous subtitle but you can actually have a subtitle Hi, folk. that what I thought I'd have let's put this one at the bottom is this new online and make it ready. appear part way through the other one Hi folk, what I thought I'd have a play with today is this new online video editor and see whether it can actually do anything particularly useful and it's Okay, so let's go back and see what that looks okay. like. What I thought I'd preview. Have play with today is this new online video editor and see whether. Hi, folk. I what I thought I'd top. have a play with today is this new online video editor and see whether you can actually do anything particularly. Use at the bottom. Hi, folk. What I thought I'd have a play with today is this new online video editor. Stop playing. Okay, I've got that one selected. And let's try and put that at the top. Okay, that's right. Hi, folk. What I thought I'd have a play with today is this, this is even more fun. video editor and see whether. Have I broken it? 
set that one to the bottom and I click on this one that one also goes to the bottom I thought I'd have ah. So let's put them on different it's times, they don't overlap uh, and see whether we can get anything YouTube in terms of video editing. Okay, so um, that's maybe a bit of an issue. Uh, it looks Google like you can only put YouTube subtitles at the top or the bottom, editing. but not have both so within the same video. Um, but anyways, you can keep on adding subtitles and it will add on from the next point. And it is very easy to use other than that slight glitch. So let's try and create this and see what happens. So we click on create. Your video is being processed and it gives you all this stuff. Um, uh, the rendering back end. Whether or not this is just a standard bit of text that they play. Um, but it's actually adding the, you can see adding the actual um, subtitle. So I'm guessing this is the real thing. So this looks like it's uh, rendering on some server somewhere. Um, now this was only a video that's a few seconds long. There doesn't appear to be any limit to how long the video can be, although I haven't tried a really long video and tried to kill it. But you never know. Apparently we need to get up to 2380. That might be the number of seconds, 23 seconds. I'm sure. Okay, that was reasonably quick. And then Hi folks. we've got well, our I preview I'd of our video that, here. Was that. Um, and you've got the option to remove the Napwing watermark. So if we download our video. Okay, there we go. Our MP4. And if we open that, it'll open up in VLC player. Hi folk, what I thought I'd have a play there with again. today is this new online... And we've got the natwing.com logo down here. Now I think I got that up here the other day when I was... Um, Google has removed from YouTube oh, in terms of video I did manage to get... What I thought I'd oh no, have no, they're all up at the top. I suspect you can only have it at the top or the bottom because they either put the, the features, logo at the top um, or the bottom. Has removed from YouTube in terms um, of so anyways, that's a really easy so way to do and um, subtitles. A browser. Um, it it that. Um, other things you can do. Uh, let's have a look. What can we do? We can do video filters. I haven't tried this. Uh, okay, so this looks like it just changes the tint of your video. Fair enough. It's not massively exciting. Video resizer. Uh, so that's going to change it so it goes on various social media platforms. Okay. Well, actually, let's just have a look at the options and upload something. Uh, let's release some megabytes. Let's upload that one again and see what happens. Okay, so it's got Hi, folk. Well, some predefined aspect ratios um, for various video formats, and oh, we can change the background. That's quite nice, and we can crop the video. Hi, folk. What I thought Ooh. I'd have a play with today is this. Okay, to make it fit better. Video. For fit, I don't want to lose anything. What I thought I'd have um, a play with today is this new online that's it. video editor and see whether it can actually do anything particularly. Okay, so this links to the trim video option. So it looks like so I can just trim the video. So I can um, click on done trimming, it might be useful. So I because uh, there are some alternatives to this sort of thing like well, I actually trim it but the quality that they produce unless you pay them lots of money trim video 24 seconds to 42 seconds the free offering pretty much okay so um, let's try usable. doing it for YouTube so, this is that one and create video is being processed and this should be quite short because I've trimmed most of it so it's, yeah 500 yeah five point yeah nearly six seconds so this shouldn't take very long 
it's looking quite promising because you can do those simple tasks really quickly and really effectively, which you do most of the time. So, uh, let's download that and yeah, have a look at it. Uh, because there so are some quite small file now. Sort of thing, like uh, we video, um, but the quality they useful. produce unless you yeah. Them okay, there you go. I mean, the video quality, 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 quality is pretty quality good actually. The quality that they're usable. And it's trimmed it. Okay, so I've got a little nap wing logo there. But never mind. For most things, who cares? Usable. Because there are some pretty good for this sort of. Let's go back. So that presumably links into the trim video. So if I go to back to this one here, same video. I'll look. Slightly annoying that I'm using the same video and I have to upload it separately every time. But here, I guess they don't want to have loads of storage online. Okay, so this looks exactly the same as the one for publishing on various platforms, except you just get the um, trim thing. So we used that a moment ago. Um, stop motion maker. I'm not quite sure whether this video will work terribly well for stop motion. But hey, let's upload it and see what happens. Okay, so speed, playtime, it's okay, so let's try slow. Oh, you can see that it's skipping from frame to frame there. Clip rate, take a frame every 0.6 seconds from the original video. Okay, so let's go to point. Playback. Play the video in reverse. No, I think that'll do my head in. Okay, so we can add a custom watermark here and we can trim the video from this menu as well, which is quite nice. It'd be nice if you could just access all the menus like that together. I don't know how long this is going to take. Actually, you can see it doing frame at a time. Is that it? Loading fonts, margins. Oh no, here we go. Yeah, so... I think this is a number of seconds, isn't it? 709... Is it? Yeah, number of seconds. So we'll let that run. Might speed that up in video time. It seems to be the slowest one, because it's going to have to... Um, pull out individual frames from the original video so there's going to be more processing involved in doing this but you can refresh this page and come back to it later to check on your video which is quite good so it's not going to just magically vanish which is good stuff some of these things it would just kill it if I went to another page. Nearly there. Seven hundred and twenty-eight, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, way. Let's download our video. This is gonna be horrific. There you go, me in stop motion. Very good. Okay, so I mean, I think we've looked at most of it now. Um, stop motion, video resizer, um, I'm guessing is just kind of make it whatever size you want to make it. Um, how big are these videos? I think. Uh, where where's he actually put them? Oh, they'll be in my downloads, won't they? Oh, 
Hi folk, what I thought I'd have a play with today is this new online video editor and see whether it can actually do anything particularly useful. And it yeah, has quite potential small. It's given good. that some of the features... Okay, so this is the resizer. This resizer looks exactly the same as the other thing. I think it is exactly the same. I think they've got two buttons for... Uh, so that one... Whoops. Video resizer. Deep video, trim video, stop motion, video filters. Hmm, maybe I clicked on that one already. Anyways, it's quite a fun little tool to use, but it actually has useful functionality. It makes nice compact videos, and it seems to work totally reliably, as far as I can see. So if you just want to do some quick, light video editing, and you're just on any old device, then uh, perhaps it's something you want to give a go. I will stop.